Welcome back to the channels Tapa Alho Azul and Super Academico. Let us finish the reading of my book Phenomena. Today we will read the final chapter 22. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's go. Chapter 22. Ols Park. I stop the car in the track right across the lawn. As I used to do in the past, I take off my shoes, so to feel the grass under my feet. I walk very apprehensively toward Donnie's grave. I didn't come here to visit you, but I'd like E to see you. The memories cut through my mind like lightning at each step I take. I see Donnie waving at me on TV. I see Dad calling us at the front door. I see the Aborigines dance around their dead fellow. I remember Carla crying when she saw the light going up onto the sky and get mixed with the lightning. I see the happy faces at my high school graduation and all the spirits who were there that day. I look at the sky and its magnificent blueness makes me remind the beauty of my dreams and everything I had seen, the twilight that I called the calmness of the souls. I remember the first time I kissed Ranha and how that feeling of pleasure and desire had invited the spirits to be around us. I walk down this graveyard and think of each story behind these names. There were villains, guilty and innocent ones. They were all wasted in the war. I can see Donnie's grave. All his memories come to mind now. Where would he be right now? I look around, before stopping in front of his grave. There are no words in my mind, just thoughts. I am almost forty years old and remember vividly all the screams that one day me leave feeling short of breath, due to so much pain and anguish. Where are they now? I don't know if I really want to face them. I remember my street and Mr. Long, our mail carrier. I wonder if he and Donnie are observing me now, next to each other. I start walking again. I want to get to the hill from where one can see the whole field. I don't see anybody here today. Maybe such a beautiful day, like today shouldn't be spent amongst the dead. Too bad it isn't spent it amongst the living ones, because of this search for a pseudo-power. This is something you do without even knowing why. I get to the top of the hill and see the horizon blend the greenness of the trees and fields with the blueness of the sky. How could I not be happy on a day like that? That would insult God. Yet, I wonder if somebody else would? My life has been an endless brainstorm of thoughts and doubts. I did seek the understanding of paranormal phenomena. I look at around and feel peace and quiet come into my heart. It seems as if my search had come to an end. I spent my entire life studying, learning, and teaching others the lessons I learned. I can tell that there will be no more screaming at Ols Park. The spirits had finally found peace, not because of me. Time took care of it. After all, every soul rests at a certain point. I always wanted to help those souls that screamed inside of mine. I always remember them as the ambassadors of everybody's pain. They do carry everyone's pain. Yet, everything is just a simple part of the world, our lives, my life. I see the silence of Ols Park and my memories. After all, there was a meaning for everything. The pieces of the jigsaw have been placed in their respective spots, and they give you a crystal clear image of the big picture. Each step we take, our mistakes and accomplishments, love and hatred, every moment should be lived through its fullest. Like now, I walk back to my car feeling the grass under my feet, the wind on my face and the sunshine on my skin, feeling dread home. My mind is free. Mother Nature's silence enables me to be sure of one single thing, which is how I've always led my life and always will. The largest phenomenon I've ever witnessed and always will, the phenomenon of life. The End I hope you have enjoyed this reading. Don't forget to subscribe to both channels and like and share the video. Bye.